How's it going guys? Um, Gap from Sutomo Lures going to give you a shop update today. You can tell it's very echoey um, in here. We just stripped this room out and this will be the new um, shop showroom. So we're going to set up this shop as a little retail shop. Everything's kind of empty right now. We got the some of the shelvings built. We'll probably put a bunch of product on, on both of these walls. We got the skirt wall already set up. It's gonna be real, real nuts and bolts of just what we need or what you guys need for offshore fishing. So aside from the lures, there'll be hooks, line, crimps, crimpers, everything that you need um, to take care of you offshore. And then as we go from here, we'll expand. So um, something we've been planning for a long time, uh, COVID kind of messed that up for a while, but we're back on the ball and we're gonna move ahead with opening um the little showroom here this will be kind of like by appointment only or probably what i'll do is if the web drop is on wednesday the friday before if you guys want to come down grab stuff before they go online you can do that so that's the plan it's going to be kind of a um, by appointment only type of a showroom these guys just dropped sort of a blue green nine inch um we're starting to turn our attention back into the bigger lures. It, it's still early in the year, but it takes us a while to build them. And you know, the, the trend over here on Oahu anyway, and Hawaii in general seems like the big tunas are coming earlier and earlier. So, you know, traditionally middle of June, July, and then into August is the season. But as of late, it's been, you know, Today is January 20th and we went out four days ago and you know two two separate boats one boat caught two one boat caught three ahis um, and now it seems like you know the season is more like I don't know April May June and then kind of by June last year everything kind of died down so we're preparing a little earlier this season not only with the lures that we're offering but if you saw from our last video, we already pulled the boat out of the water and we're getting that ready as well. So we're planning on the fish being here early this year. Okay, so this was actually supposed to be in a live Opelu um, yellow line with the ice blue top. Um, Preston does a lot of the painting nowadays and so I failed to communicate that with him and I just wrote on the paint sheet blue with the yellow line. But and this is what he came up with it's more of like a, a greenish blue which is a cool color um that we've never really done before and actually i don't know how he did it like he knows how he did it so he has the formula written down but it's that cool color shifting if you look at it from one angle it'll look way more blue and if you look at it from a different angle if you look at it in a different angle it has more of a green flash to it again I like lures that kind of color shift because that's what you'll get um, when you're looking at a fish. You'll, you'll get a flash of, of a color um, as it's wiggling around or trying to escape. So this is in our standard nine inch moke bullet. This is our standard shape that we've had the most success with. People ask all the time, um, what's the best lure or what's your guys best lure for catching ahis? And, you know, we kind of designed a lot of our stuff for that, but if you had to go, if you had to go one, two, it'd be a moak bullet and a moak invert. Um, and the difference is this one will, you know, a lot of, lot of tradition behind a bullet for catching tunas. If you think of like a cedar plug for you guys up on that side, that's a bullet shape. And then all the Japanese type feathers were pretty much all bullet shapes. Um, this one will, It'll run straight, but it'll kind of do this, do this skitter and skate thing. And then the invert is more designed to run. This one will run a lot straighter, so it won't go from side to side. What, what you'll get is a much more up and down motion, but straight ahead. Uh, that, that face holds the water real good, and this lure will pretty much run real straight. So if you're looking for a real straight lure that's easy for the fish to um, get a hold of, that's where you that's where you choose the invert. And then also when the water's rougher or the wind is blowing real hard because you got this hard face, 
kind of resisting. It'll keep the line to your rod or your outrigger tight. Keep this lure in the spot. Um, this lure will actually run deeper than this lure because of the cycle, you know, pop and then say a six or eight second dive where it stays down and then pop again. And this one will kind of like slide along the surface and then, you know, do its cycle of staying down. But the nature of this shape and the, you know, the, the pull of the line will, will cause it to rise up versus, and that's why a, a cut face lure has that sort of a same shape, right? Whereas the real flat of this face just causes it to drive, drive. Think of this like a bus that goes straight. And then think of this like a Formula One car that's kind of got that pointy nose and moves around a lot. And then uh, the guys made this. This is going to going out to a guy. Uh, I'm not sure. I think he's fishing in Mexico. But um, it's been laying around the shop for the last few days, and everybody everybody's like, "Oh, that lure looks super mean." But um, real good match. I don't traditionally pull green, so like I look at it, and I'm like, "That that looks super cool." But for me personally, I will. I, that's not something I will pull. I think you know. Mexico, um, maybe Florida, maybe back east where the water's not as crystal clear, purpley blue like we have here in Hawaii. That's the reason why those guys like the green. They need it. They need the lure to stand out a lot more. You know, that's where you see like um, maybe even California where the water's not as crystal clear blue as it is in Hawaii. They want those greens or chartreuse colors that really. Um, it makes it a lot easier for the fish to see them. These, these uh, guys are all roughed in. This will make the next web drop, probably beginning of February. I know you can't tell what it is right now, but this was a very popular um, drop the last time we did it. It's been a while, so I'll, I'll show you what it is. You can kind of get a look there. It's a uh, Moke Bullet Crack Glass, and we have it in silver. And we'll have it in ice blue. So these guys just need their final polish. I mean, their final uh, wet sanding. And then we'll put some polish on it and they'll, sh they'll, sh they'll shine up real good. Those are basically done. There's not much more we, we got to do to that. So that's going to definitely make the next web drop. Ice blues will also make the next web drop, which we've been out of stock at on for a while. Um, this is the stuff that needs kind of a lot of, a lot, a lot of work still give you an idea of what's coming up though. Um, restock of the six inch baby Malolos. Uh, I think there's a purple in here somewhere. Restock of the six inch purples. And then there will be a six inch Vader, which we've never done before. So that's, that's in the pipeline. We're already starting to work on the, those of you who did the pre-orders for the Ali'i shell stuff. Um, we're already starting to work on those. So those look like they'll be right on time, if not early delivery for those of you who pre-ordered that. Bunch of Kona Dragons getting ready, um, getting prepped. Uh, if you look at this right now versus what it looks like when um, we actually get it to you guys. There's a lot of work that goes into this. Um, it's actually a little bit harder because this is not a round shape. So this all gets prepped by hand. Um, you guys ever wonder about that? Because this is round, you just put it on a machine and then, you know, the machine helps us. But with these guys, it's just all, all by hand. So same, same um, inserts for our 12 and 14 inch stuff, which has has been going well, so we're, we're trying to keep that stocked up for you guys. A bunch of lures for a project we're doing with Bloody Decks that we're super excited about. You know, back in the day before social media, for me anyways, Bloody Decks was a spot to go online and look, at, look through the forums and um, participate and talk to other fishermen through the Bloody Decks forum. Um, so I'm pretty stoked that we actually get to do something with them. These lures will all be given away. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to do it. We're building the lures and then they're going to figure out how 
they're gonna give those away for you guys. So um, if you're not following Bloody Decks, go fo follow them and we're definitely gonna do a big giveaway with them real soon. We'll really start to make a push um, later on this late summer or later this year to increase production. We'd, we've done a couple of runs on these little stick baits, um, but we're gonna make it a little more available. And then we're also gonna make a push um, in, a sh in the shoreline, so division. So this, this is a little um, bait that we actually manufacture here. This one obviously we don't manufacture. You see the shape pretty much everywhere. We're just painting it in the colors that we like. And then this head here we actually manufacture. Um, so if any of you guys are into catching papillos or whatever, and you're successful at it and you can get us some um, content, then shoot us a message or leave a comment below and maybe we'll put you on our team and start to build that division of Sutomu, um, like I said, later on this year. Ryan's working on over here the final um, pieces of the six inch Ama Ebi pre-order. Most of those went out. It's mostly the ones that need hooks in it that we're working on. That should, that should go out, if not today, um, Monday. So that'll wrap up. The Ama Ebi pre-orders and the half Malolo 2.0 pre-orders are, are all pretty much mailed out and we're just kind of doing the last of those. H1 inserts, they're already starting to get poured. Um, like I said, we're getting ready for H1, H1 inserts. Um, some of them already got poured and these guys are, are gonna get poured real soon. Like I said, we're we're getting ready for, and we're planning that ahi season is going to happen a lot earlier this year. So we're trying to get ahead of the ball game and get some lures made before t before it's actually time. All right, guys, that's a wrap for um, today's shop update. Again, the big news is we're getting very close to opening up a little showroom here for you guys, which we've wanted to do for a number of years now already started working on ahi season and if you can pull a cue from that um, now's the time to start getting you guys boats ready do all your maintenance that's what we're doing with our boat get all your lures in order plug all the holes in your lure game the colors that you might need change all your leaders change all your trailer hooks get ready because it's going to probably be one of those things where like um, nothing's happening and all of a sudden here they are much earlier than um, most of us are probably anticipating so a uh, little tip for you guys got a lot of um got a lot of new stuff coming along as well um again sutomulures.com for all your lure needs we got a bunch of uh stuff planned for summer as far as the gear goes as well um so that's a wrap for today like always do us a favor and subscribe to our channel and like and hit the notifications bell and we'll see you guys next time thanks